Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. As requested by a comment, today we're going to be talking about how to flip an image over the x-axis or the y-axis. Okay, so to start off, let's think about this conceptually. We have our image, which is just a grid of pixels. What we want to do for flipping over the x is to swap all of the pixels on the left side with some pixel on the right side like you see in this image. To simplify things down, let's just look at one row of the image. If we have one row of the image, we're going to use this little formula to figure out which pixel on the right side we want to swap with. And if we look at just this row and follow that formula, we can see for our edge points, we're going to map 0, 0 to 4, 0. And then we're going to do the same for 1, 0 to 3, 0, and finally 2, 0, which maps to itself using this formula. And the formula is just width minus 1 minus x. So now we're going to go ahead and put this into practice with some code. Start things off in our header file, get everything set up. Just create these two functions that will return a reference to themselves. And then we can start actually coding the flip x function. And remember, we want to do this operation for every single row, so we're just going to loop through all of the pixels from 0 to height. And then we only want to loop through half of the image, right? Only the left half. So we're going to go from 0 to width divided by 2. And that way, we're only iterating over half. And if you know anything about computer science, you know that if you want to swap two values, you need a temporary way of, of storing one of the values, so that's what temp is for. And then we have these two pixels here that we're just going to keep track of. It's just going to be a pointer into our image data that will uh, point to the left side and then px2 will point to the right side of the image. So to set these, we just want to use our basic formula here to get our pixel value represented by x and y. And then pixel 2 is going to be the same thing, but that x value is going to follow the formula width minus 1 minus x. And so now we have our two pixels. We just, of course, need to actually get the pointer to that value in our image data, which means we have to take that whole thing, multiply it by the number of channels, and then get that index out of data, which is our image data. And if you don't know what I'm talking about here, please check out episode one where we went over how to set all of this up so that we can access our image data. After that, we want to copy all of the information in pixel one to pixel two and just swap them. But first we have to set our temporary value. Uh, you notice I forgot to put an asterisk before pixel two. Uh, so what we're doing here is we're moving pixel one into temp, then we're moving pixel two into pixel one, and then finally temp into pixel 2, and we've now effectively swapped all of the image data for those two pixels. If we go ahead and set up some test code here, we have our test image as usual. We will flip x, and then we will write it to output.png. And if we go ahead and run this, let's first take a look at our original image. And then let's also look at our output image. As you can see, the image has been flipped over that center x-axis. Or sorry, it's flipped over the y-axis, actually. So now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for the flipping on the y direction, except we're going to switch all of the x's uh, and y's just like this, so that we are now looping over all of the columns in the image, and we only care about the upper half that we're going to swap with the bottom half. And then for this formula down here, we're just going to change y so that it is height minus 1 minus y. Everything else is going to be exactly the same, so we can actually go ahead and just run this and take a look at our result. And as you can see, the image has been flipped in the y direction. And with that, I think we are done. So thank you all for watching. There's one thing I do want to show you real quick, though, that's kind of fun. Uh, this doesn't really have any practical purpose. But you can actually only flip, let's say, the red channel, and you get this kind of interesting blended look right here. Not too useful, but kind of fun. There's a lot of stuff you can mess with once you have this set up this way, so feel free to mess around and do whatever you want. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.
See you next time.